amidst the turmoil, we must continue to trust in the Almighty, not just in some areas, but in all areas of our life. No matter what is going on around us, God is always drawing us to Himself. He is still in control. My covenant with you is one that never can be broken. I can put my trust into the words that you have spoken. My life is in your hands, Lord, and I know that I am saved. I can sense your presence every moment. shown us what is in the future. He has given us promises that we must hold on to even when it seems impossible that these things will come to pass. After the promise comes a process. Somehow we don't always see that the process will eventually get us to the promise. It's not always in a straight line. The process seems to be taking us totally off course and we think we have missed the mark because the process seems to be totally in the wilderness. But it is in that wilderness that God is developing our character to handle the promise when it comes to pass. Eventually, as we go through the process, there comes a time we can move into the new, as a promotion if you like. God watches us through that time and observes how we respond. As we go through the wilderness, it often knocks off some of the rough edges as we bump into different challenges. It seems like the promise will just never come to pass. We just have to walk by faith and believe that what God said is true and just keep moving forward irregardless of all the circumstances. We know that Joseph was such a good example of someone who received a promise from God and then had to go through quite an extreme process. Joseph's journey was full of rejection, temptations, tests and trials. He passed all of them. He passed the test. He continued to obey God and he did this without a support group, without a pastor encouraging him and guiding him through those extreme challenges. We are in a time of forward momentum. We have been contained, continual lockdown and chaos and uncertainty. The enemy continues to try and constrain us while we are trying to birth the new. We feel like we are making progress 
then we are locked down again. We must hold on to the promise of the blessing and push through the process. We refuse to remain stuck. We are pushing through. It is time for the chaos to stop. No more rattling, no more shaking. We do not lean on our own understanding. God will make a way where there is no way. We cannot retreat. We need to enter into the battle. We embrace what God says in His Word and by His Spirit, and we do not live according to circumstances and the things that are happening all around us. We walk by faith and not by sight. Together we will get there. Let's have a team mentality. We are in a war, which is never convenient and never comfortable. Of course, our war is in the spirit realm. When we worship together, we should cause a shift in the spiritual atmosphere. We shake the demonic and we shake the status quo. We need to be committed to relationship with each other and our church community. We have one enemy, one pursuit, Jesus. We will not relent. We will not pull back. We will go through the process and receive the promises of God, propelled by His power. Faith comes from here.